Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And if you saw my haul from Target, my mom got me all kinds of DIY stuff. And it just got me in the mood to do a Christmas composition book. So I ran around my craft room finding all kinds of stuff that I could use. Who knows how this is going to go, but we're going to do it. So I have picked two pieces of paper. This is going to be the back. And then this will be the front. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first is we're just going to measure everything out. And the way I do that is I just hold it here. I know you guys will give me all the great tips and tricks on how to do it perfectly. But this is just how I do it. I put a little thing there and a little cut there so I kind of know where I'm going to be cutting. Then I get out my paper trimmer and I'm going to just trim right along where those folds are. I'm going to stick that in there and I know we want to fold it right about there. And then this one is right about here. There we go. And if you make it a little bit bigger, that's okay too because you've got enough room on the um, black part to do it. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the red. I already know what size I need. And for this one, I'm going to cut along there. Uh, this is my Stampin' Up! paper trimmer in case any of you guys ask. And then I'm going to turn it this way. Wait, how did I, I already got this side done, right? Yes. So I'm going to turn it this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right along the middle here. And I'm going to cut it up to here, and I'm going to cut up to here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to want to fold a flap over. So I'm going in three stamps. And I think I'll actually go in three and a half stamps. So I have to go back here and go to three and a half stamps. So now you see I have this little lip there. And I'm going to take and cut off that little lip as well. I'll figure out where it is. that, flip it over and do the same thing, and there we go. So, and I'll show you how what that was for in a minute. So I'm going to put that part away and now I'm going to get out that composition book again. Get rid of all these little pieces. And I'm going to put down some tacky glue. See how I went a little bit over and that is way okay. Not a problem at all. Okay. I'm just going to use some of the tacky glue that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make sure I get it along the edges, kind of. And 
And then I'm just going to use this here and kind of spread it around. It's already getting tacky. But you don't want just bubble up from the glue and you want it to be tacky all over, especially on the edges. And don't worry if it gets onto the um, composition book. As long as it gets around the edges is what we're worried about. And as long as it gets on the composition book, then we know that has tack on it as well. Okay. So we've got that. I'm going to line this all up. And I just use my fingers and line everything up. And because it's the tacky glue, you can move it around just a little bit. And there you go. And then I just grab, I grab my ink. And I put that up. I'll put some more tack down there. So if you miss a little spot, just put a little bit more on there, not too much. And there you go. And how cute is that? And then we're going to go ahead and do the back side as well with just the clear. You see that came out really nice as well. So I'm going to put this around. I'm going to put this all the way around the edging for sure. And this is thicker cardstock, so I'm just kind of running this along and not putting a lot on there um, as far as amount, but I am putting a lot on there as far as the um, spacing because I do not want this to um, lift at all. And I do not cover this tab. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the same way with the edges. And I'm going to leave this out for just a moment, but what's going to end up happening is we'll end up scoring this and scoring this and making a nice little tag. It won't be this long. It'll be much shorter. See there? And of course, I just remembered I have glue dot or Velcro dots. Um, but I don't know where they are. I've been looking for them for a past project. I'm going to have to buy more. I may have used them all. So we'll just pretend I have some Velcro dots on here. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to start decorating. And I've got some uh, little Tim Holtz distressor. Uh, distress ink and I'm just going to use some of that just it already has some on there but we're going to be using this distress ink for a good amount of stuff but I really want these edges to be nice and dark and distressed So before we start gluing anything down, and I just remembered I need to cut these little edges off first. And the way I do it is just with scissors. Oh, look.
look, this was something that my husband and I had <laughs> used. Well, good thing I didn't say it was going to be a giveaway or anything like that. I'll just cut out those pages when it comes time. And I just um, work along the cardboard that's already cut there. And that was so long ago. We did that. It was over a year ago. We did a, what did we do? What was it called? Oh, a Pez Candy game. If you guys have been watching me for any length of time, it was actually a long time ago, over a year ago. So, And there we go. Now I can distress these corner pieces here. And you'll see the difference between here and there with those corners. I'm not going to distress the back of it at all, but I will distress this part of it. And I think we're going to go to about here. And I'm just going to cut these little tabs. To make a little tag there. So it'll make a little binding like this. And then what I would do, if I only had it, I put Velcro dot here and then go like that and it would hold it in place and closed. So, but before we do that, I'm going to distress this part of it just a little bit. This little guy here. And you want to do all of your distressing before you put any um, gluing down. parts you want to just be a little bit distressed. I'm kind of going for um, like an older look, like this little old Santa kind of thing. But I've got lots and lots of stuff that we're just going to start putting on here and trying to make it look rather pretty. So I have a doily here that I have cut in half. I had two of them, and I want to use that just on part of it, and I'm going to make it a nice, clean cut, so I'm going to grab my little guy again, and that didn't work. Let's see, this, my friend, is why... I had a second one ready, and we'll see, I do need to make it a little bit straighter there. There we go. Actually, I definitely know I want to use this little guy from the Dollar Tree. So, I'm going to cut this off, and I'm going to cut this off, and I may have this kind of peeking out. Yes. I think I might have this over here. Yes. Like that. Okay. So I definitely know that's what I want to do. 
So I'm going to put some of that tacky glue right here along the edge. And I'm going to put that right here and line that up and let that dry a little bit. So I'm going with some golds in this one. So I'll set this aside. And then what I'm going to do is I have these little um, sheet music background that I got from Stampin' Up. And I haven't used it yet. I haven't undone it, nothing like that. But for this, I already know it doesn't need to be everything. I'm just going to kind of put it on here. Sorry if it is making the camera shake. And this is just going to be really, really, really light. Um, so I put in some Sahara, Sahara sand. And I'm just going to put that down like that. And you can just see very light music notes on there. I'm not sure if you could see that. So then I'm going to take just a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to use this for um, background paper. I'm going to do the same thing again. This time I'm just going to do it all. But it doesn't need to be perfect. So we've got that. I'm going to put a little bit of the Tim Holtz Distress ink as well. flip that a little once over and there we go you can see just some really light music notes there and I'll use that as well I'll clean that in just a bit and I'm going to use a little bit more of this just to go around the edges. And I'm not going to use the whole thing, but I do want it to have a little bit of a distressed look. And we'll come back here and I'll figure out what I like. I think I kind of like that real dark music note there. So I'm just going to kind of tear it and then distress the edges here. If you wanted to, you could leave it whole. You could roll it up like scrolled music if you wanted to. You know, wrap it around a pencil so it looked like scrolled music. It would look really cute. But I'm just going to add this along here. I'm going to put it right there. Again, we are just adding where it's not anything that's planned out we're just kind of putting things where it just sees fit so we're just making like a mixed media type journal
There we go. Now, I have these really pretty little butterflies that I wanted to use. And I just think these would be adorable. So I'm just going to cut one of them off. That might be cute. And again, I'm gonna just stress this little guy. The distressor is your friend when you wanted to make things look just old and you'll see the difference between the new and the old. See there? That distressor just puts a little bit age onto it. And then I'm going to go back and use some more tacky, but I'm going to use the, um, I'm going to use it on here because I don't want the tack to get everywhere. I'm just going to put it all around. If you can hoping you can see all of this. And then lay that down, let that dry. And I always recap my glue so it doesn't dry up cuz that my friend is the worst. So I definitely know that I want to put one of these little green guys on here. And the reason I want to do that is um, because I want to um, be able to add a picture. So this is a fine tip glue pen that I'm going to be using because it is so tiny. It's stamping up. I'll put a link down below if you guys want to order anything. And then I'm just gonna put this glue all along the back. And I love the fine tip because it's pretty precision and it stays really nicely glued. So I'm gonna put that right there. I was going to put it a little higher, but I want my um, snowflake to be on there. And then you just put this back in. And of course, I don't have any glasses on, but I got it, yay! Alright, we're just going to start adding some fun stuff on here now. I'm going to take this big guy now because I know that I want him on here and now that I'm looking I'm wondering if I want it like that no, I think I want him like this yep so I'm just gonna put the tacky glue all on here and I'm going to put some around the edge of this as well Put it where we want. I think 
I might actually go like this. And put that down. Then I just have so much little bits and bobbles of stuff here. I've got some really pretty roses and beads. We'll use some of that. I think I'm just going to use about that much. And before I put any kind of um, picture or anything, we'll just use it to hold that for the time being. And then you can put a picture underneath there. So let me just show you. If this were a picture, you would just put it in there and have those little pieces off. Oh, I didn't give it enough time to cure. Let me put that back. So we'll be using that as well. And then I'm just going to look through here. And, oh yes, I have these little goodies. And this was, um, they're look, loop and hook antiques. Let me see, let me see. I'm not sure if this is what I need. Because wouldn't that be cute to have that and then lock it the other way? Yes. It would be very cute. That's what we're going to do. So, they're already... Um, they already have some sticky on there. So I'm just going to take the sticky off. And I'm going to put that on here like this. I'm coming up with this on my own, guys. Might not be the right way. In fact, I'm going to get rid of these two. And save those for another time. And I'm going to line these two up. Then I'll be able to thread some ribbon through there. It'll be really cute. So I'll find some nice pretty ribbon. In fact, speaking of ribbon, I do have some ribbon right here that I think I would like to use. I'll use it from here up. Yep. I'm going to 
gonna take this. It's already got some sticky on it. I'm just gonna line the edge up there. There we go. There we go. So pretty. There we go. Now, I have some of these little snowflakes. These were for, from Fun Stamper's Journey. Pretty flaked accents. pretty. Nope, I like them down here. And they already also have some sticks on there. So I'm going to put those. I'm going to strategically place those as well so they kind of go over. And don't forget you're going to be having a picture here. What's going on here? Okay, I love that glue, but I don't know what's going on, so I'm gonna try the tacky. And then if that doesn't work, then you know me, get out the glue gun. And yes, E6000 will work. I know you guys love the E6000. So we'll put that there. And then one more right here and if you wanted to you could again kind of de-stress these as well and the same with some of this white just to give it a little bit of aged look that is coming out really, really adorable. So those were fun. And then I've got some of this pretty stuff as well. They're little time pieces. And I think we'll use one of these guys. You can also use it on here, would be cute. This one would be cute. What do you think? Oh, I know you guys are telling me, but I can't hear you. I can't hear you guys. I wish I could. The sad part, I should do a live at some point. Ooh, how about that? That's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, I heard you. Back to the tacky glue. I know this is a long one, but you guys, it's worth it. And I'm really, really sad that I didn't look at my composition book first and see that I had already used that one. But that's okay. So I know where I'm going to put it, and now I just want to put the tacky glue on here. And see how it gets all that. So it's going to lay perfectly flat. And then there's not much that you're seeing through there. And any that did, just use the corner. Get it out like that. Okay. I'm gonna put that down. And we'll put this guy right here. My goodness. That is adorable, adorable. Okay, so we got our time clocks that we've used, 
We've got some other nice pieces I've got here, which are some really pretty um, keys. And I definitely want to use a couple of those. And what else do we have? We have some gears. I'm not going to use any of the gears. I have a little teeny tiny keys. I can use those. These are some other teeny tiny keys. They're really cute. They've got little hearts right here, see? So I'm back to the tacky glue. We'll put a little bit here. And then stick it on here. And then I'm going to do one with the little butterfly as well. We'll do one just on the butterfly, kind of. Tacky glue kind of came off a little bit. Put a little bit more on there. I think I'll stick this one up here. Okay, it's just not enough of that little glue there. You want to make sure you have enough of that little glue because it does need to stick and it needs to last for a little while. And before I put that on, I grabbed, where did it go? Oh, here we go. I grabbed some really pretty washi that I wanted to use. And I just knew that I wanted it to be on there. And again, some of this little washi it's very glittery, really pretty. Maybe, oh, there we go. Isn't that so pretty? Really pretty there. I'm gonna put a little bit down here as well. And that one, we have to be mindful of the keys, guys. Shall we put a little key on there? That could look really cute. This is all stuff that I have just kind of laying around. So you don't have to go out and buy all kinds of stuff. I mean, you could do so much. In fact, I'm going to run over and I'm going to look to see if I have just any old buttons laying around. I do. I 
happen to have, oops, excuse me. <laughs> wonder if you saw that. Um, these were from Tuesday morning, just a hodgepodge of buttons that I keep around. And we'll just open these guys up. So you can use, you don't have to use, if you don't have keys or something like that, just use some buttons. Use all kinds of pretty stuff that you have. Look at, look at that little bow. Would that be cute? It could be not very. This little deer on here, super adorable. A little button if you wanted to add a button somewhere. This button here could be here. So I think I found the button. I think that's the one I'm going to use. I'm going to look to see what this is real quick. I think it's a little cat. See that little cute cat? That's a little button there. You could use that if you want to. So I think I found the button I'm going to use. And I think I'm going to use this one here. And I just saw a tree. Did I lose the tree? I may have lost the tree. Okay, I thought I saw a tree, and now I can't find it. But look at how many fun little, little guys there are. Look at, there's little Mary. And I just keep a, a thing of... Um, I just keep a whole bunch of buttons. I thought for sure I saw a tree. I wonder if I saw these grapes. That might have been, oh no, here it is. That little tree is cute. I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use this button and I'm gonna find another small little button that kind of goes. Those two are really cute. I'm definitely going to use those two little buttons and we'll just tack those on here as well. This one I'm kind of putting a lot on there. Did I amaze you that I actually found that? I kind of amazed myself. So now I'm coming in here and I'm just gonna look for um, just some little gems. And I like these little green gems here because I'm gonna use the green gem in my um, button. find another gem in here and this one's kind of a like a off-white color and I'm going to use that one in my button as well this one doesn't want to be sticking so well let's see So you might run across all of these same things that are happening to me may happen to you. So that's kind of why I leave them in. 
so that we could solve them together if we need to. think this is coming out really cute. Let me know what you think. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. And what else do I have? I have a few other things that I wanted to use. I've got some of these guys here. And I know I wanted to use just a couple of them here. And then a little small one right up here. And one more. Just down here in the corner. With a small red one nearby. I think these are really cute. And then you can add these little guys, mixing some stuff up here. And how cute is this coming out? So adorable. And then I'm just going to take some more of these little guys, some of the... Um, creamy colored ones and I'll put them around as well so I just they tear really easy and they already have the sticky stuff on it so it works out perfect I think this is coming out rather adorable. Okay, now we've got to tie this all together. And what am I going to do? Give me just one moment while I search for something to tie it all up. Still searching, I'm still searching. I've got some, well, this is old, this has been retired. Um, craft rope trim, but it's still cute. So I'm going to grab some of that. I'm going to cut off enough of it. Okay. So, I'm going to just leave that there for a moment because I have these beautiful, beautiful little wood shapes that I want to use. And again, this was from Target. My mom had bought these for me at the dollar spot for my birthday. And I don't know if I want to use any of these yet. So let's see. Definitely going to do this. I'm 
We'll just tie it together. And then I'm going to make just a couple knots here at the end. And the knots will still fit through, so you could take them out, but they won't unfray. Okay. And now we can unfray these all we want so that they have a little bit of. Um, what would you call it? Just some more texture. So you can use any kind of ribbon or anything like that. Let's see how that kind of adds. Now I'm going to look to see if I want any of this on here. Because some of this, oh, that didn't. Did I, I didn't glue that down. So that's not going to go on there. But would this be adorable? I think it would. But where? really would but I think we're gonna get too much what do you think start getting too much in there okay this is what we're gonna do we're gonna distress this little guy a little bit if I really liked it I would put this across like that believe That's cute, isn't it? But then I wouldn't have, I really want to be able to put your own picture there. So I'm just going to darken this white up. Yep. what I want. Guys, I don't know. I kind of thought that was really cute, that believe. And this Mary's kind of cute too. Let me know what you guys would have done because that believe is really cute. The Mary is really cute. The Joy is cute. Okay, we're sticking with this guy. I like it. There we go. And then, now, this is on here. And I'm just going to, again, wrap these guys up. And stick it on there. So there we go, you guys. Is that cute? And then you can always write something on the back if you'd like. But that is my finished product. It is my little Christmas journal. I wish, <laughs> I'll just take cut those other pages out. But that's really cute. 
If you like this, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you want to see more. Please don't look at all this junk. I'll have a picture of this on my Instagram so that you can check it out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. All right, take care. Bye.